Today on the podcast, I want to talk about some really exciting new AI news and advancements out of stable, you know, Stability AI, who is, the, of course, the founders of Stable Diffusion and a lot of other really exciting projects. So this one specifically um, is in the area of code generation and some really interesting things they've done to essentially make um, code generating AI models smaller, more performant, and able to run on actual devices. We're going to get into all of this, but before we do that, I want to say today's episode is sponsored by AI Box, my very own AI app builder and marketplace. I recently uh, released an episode all about how we reach $400,000 in funding. If you're interested, I highly recommend you go check out that episode. It's got a ton of information. And if you're interested in investing in a new AI startup, I'll leave a link in the show notes to republic.com slash AI dash box, where you can get on board and join us on the journey to create and make this a reality. Let's get into the episode. We gonna bring it to you just like that. Welcome everyone to the future. It's AI Chat, bringing you the interviews and giving you info to be in the know. Tech company CEOs of Rock with us. Bet you gonna come back. I'm just saying the facts. This is AI Chat. Let's go. So the big news out of Stability AI is that they have a new um, something called Stable Code 3B. Um, 3B is, of course, stands for 3 billion, and it's kind of referencing the parameters. But what I want to back up a little bit and say is that obviously generative AI and code generation is becoming a lot more powerful and also a lot more compact as of recent. And, you know, we kind of saw this break onto the scenes with Microsoft and their acquisition of GitHub. And they trained, of course, GitHub Copilot, which allowed you to, you know, it gave you suggestions when you were writing code. Um, and I think we're, you know, ChatGPT, of course, is great at giving some code suggestions. Not perfect that people criticize it, but it, you know, I I uh, know a lot of developers that have that open on a side tab, giving them code suggestions. So Stability AI has kind of taken a really interesting step and they've introduced Stable Code 3B, which is a new model for code generation. Um, and they just had that come out this year. So Stable Code 3B is a commercial commercially licensed model which i think is important we've seen a lot of other models you know i think notably out of like meta with their llama some of their llama models when they first released them they're like hey here's the model super cool not commercial commercially you know licensable so you can't actually use it for that and that's not the case here you're actually able to use this for commercial purposes so of course it's all available via a membership but the model has three billion parameters and it focuses on code completion for software development right so similar to what you'd see out of the github copilot what's interesting here though is that stable code 3b runs locally on laptops without dedicated gpus i think this is really really important um currently i'm in the process of building a you know super turbo computer um, that i can use to test out open source models and do a lot of other things but you need a relatively beefy computer setup um, in order to just run some of the most basic things, right? Like I'm dropping a minimum of $2,000 and I'm getting a lot of stuff, you know, used or uh, secondhand from friends that have a lot of uh, pieces and components. And so, you know, I think it's really impressive as they start building these things that actually can literally run locally on a laptop. This isn't just like a, a beefy PC build or a gaming computer. Um, specifically, these are built for laptops. And Essentially, it competes with larger models like Meta's Code Llama 7B um, in performance and capabilities, right? Which is really impressive. You're building a 3 billion parameter model, which is competing with 7 billion parameter models. So Stability AI's trend towards really these smaller models began back in 2023 with Stable LM Zephyr, which is a 3 billion uh, parameter for text generation. Um, and Stability AI first kind of previewed Stable Code in August last year, um, but they've been improving it ever since. So Stable Code 3B is kind of, it really just essentially suggests new lines of code and fills in larger missing sections of existing code. Um, so kind of like an auto prompter while you're coding. Um, and then also has a quote, fill in the middle or FIM, um, which is for advanced code completion. So the model uses rotary position embeddings um, for expanded context sizes up to a hundred thousand tokens, which is quite impressive. Um, that that is a that's a fairly large token size token window there. And Stable Code Three B is based on Stability AI's Stable Stable LM Three B, which is of course their kind of natural language model, um, but it's trained further with software engineering data, right? So specifically for um, software engineering and coding. So. Training data included code repositories, programmer forums, and some technical sources. 
And the model was actually trained on 18 programming languages and it performs well in a bunch of different benchmark tests. So it actually covers languages like Python, Java, JavaScript, Go, Ruby, and C++. Um, and a bunch of early benchmarks actually show that it really, it, like it's pretty much matching or it's getting better than a lot of large models in completion quality. So the generative AI code generation market, I think is very competitive. You know, I think we'd be kind of naive to be like, think that this is the first thing on the market and it's going to completely dominate. Um, not to say, you know, it, it's not incredible for what it's specifically built for, which is, you know, to run locally on a laptop. Like that is quite amazing. Um, but what I will say is that, uh, you know, with Meta's Code Llama 7B being a major player in the space, like there is other competition here, but you know, they're, they're definitely doing things smaller. So it, it's kind of got a different use case. So the 3 billion parameter um, star code or LLM is another popular option. Um, this was code developed with IBM, Hugging Face and ServiceNow, right? So another, a bunch of other big players um, that came out with that. And stable code 3B reportedly outperforms star coder in languages like Python, C++, JavaScript, Java, PHP, and Rust. Um, and stable code 3B essentially is part of Stability AI's membership subscription service that they announced back in December. So the membership essentially includes access to stable code 3B and other tools like SDXL, stable LM, Zephyr, 3B, stable audio, and stable video. So a lot of really incredible things coming out of, um, you know, Stability AI, a lot of amazing projects. I'm really excited about this one in particular. It feels like it's kind of a, a puzzle piece that they're clicking into this uh, kind of th this really amazing set of models. You know, they got the audio, they got the video, they have um, image and, and text, and now this specific one trained for code. Feels like it, it you know, fits into the Stability AI family of a lot of amazing projects they're doing. So really excited to to see where this goes, to see the new advancements. And I love seeing um, some of these players continue to pump out um, these models and, and build them in ways that are that have some sort of unique offering, right? Beyond just like, it's the best code you know, generation because a lot of them are kind of competing and it, it feels a little commoditized. It's like, okay, there's some great code generators out there, but we're doing something unique by saying, here's a code generator with 3 billion parameters that you can run on a laptop. Like, it's kind of, it's kind of exciting. And this is where I, I see this going is like, these AI models will get more efficient, they get more powerful, but eventually they're going to be able to run locally on on devices, on phones, um, and you're going to be able to get some really amazing outputs and a lot of exciting innovation when that happens. Um, if they don't have to be run in the cloud, like the costs and the compute costs will be cut quite a bit. If someone can run this on their phone, um, it's going to completely change the game. So very exciting uh, that this is happening and I'll keep you updated on how this kind of evolves in the landscape uh, in the AI field going forward. Have you ever wanted to start your own podcast? I record and publish podcasts on a platform called Spotify for Podcasters, and I absolutely love it. Essentially, you can upload from your phone or computer, and it distributes to every platform that plays podcasts. They support video podcasts, and you can make money on the platform with ads or even podcast subscriptions, something that has made my life so much easier as a podcaster. So if you're interested, I highly recommend you give it a try. You can download the Spotify for Podcast app or go to spotify.com slash podcasters to get started on your podcast today. Thank you for listening to the AI Chat Podcast. If you enjoyed the podcast, I'd appreciate it if you rate me wherever you listen to podcasts. And if you're looking for an innovative group of AI enthusiasts, make sure you check out our Discord channel and also our Facebook community. It's obviously a lot more interactive than a podcast where we can actually share software tools, prompts that we're using in everyday AI. I'll leave a link for those in the description below.